All right, so I got a <clears throat> I got an email from a customer and a friend of my friend Gary. He requesting that I make a grip for the Canon QL G17, which I happen to have here. Uh, it was my friend Becky's. She lent it to me to model a grip. It was one of my most requested grips for butter grips. And I had it for like six months during the pandemic. We actually met outside the photo mat, eventually gave it back to her. And then at some photo meetup, she was selling it. And so I bought it back just to model to make a grip. Uh, I haven't made a grip for a camera for butter grips in years. Um, I have about 40 of them, maybe 45 of them on cameradactyl.com. I think I've made all of the measurements that I need from the bottom of this camera to draft a grip. Uh, I just traced it and kind of made all of the measurements that I think uh, will locate all of the important geometry on this guy, where the little cutout for the lens is, where the spare battery pocket is, where this um, rewind button hole is, where the tripod screw goes, kind of the dimensions of all of these fillets and inner curves not pictured in this drawing. My print crashed and I threw it in the trash. Quick update on this guy. We've got some engineering change notes on the body of the part. So I've got my version number, that's the V1.0.0.1 of the QL17. Uh, and then I have some notes. I'm gonna add a half a millimeter or a millimeter over here, a little stopping block on this part a little bit. And I'm gonna cut a little bit out of the grip and then we should be good. These guys all line up well, the buttons are pushable. Yeah, we're close, we're one, one version away. If I really need to clean this shop, um, it's really getting on my nerves. I got crap all over. I got 11 of 12 printers running right now. It feels pretty good. I don't feel like doing the last one. I got a new version of the Canon QL 17G3 <laughs> grip on the printers. That should be out in a few hours. I don't know if I'm going to make another time lapse of that. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm actually going to go for a run. It's really terrible weather, but... All right, looks like this guy is uh, done. We can see how I did. Guess I gotta pop this board out. Let's go take a look at this camera. Oh yeah, that's a nice fit. That is a good camera grip. Lines up well. Reach the eject button. Can we open the back? How do we open the back? Pull the lever. Boop. Oh, come on. Ha ha ha. Somehow in this... Oh, shh. Somehow I regenerated this lip which I drew but should not have been extruded. So. Let's take a look here at the model. Okay, fine, fine, we'll do it. Save as, we're gonna make a new version here. Three, rebuild and save. We can test on this guy with some destructive testing. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to remove this with some Whitlin a very sharp razor to see what this next print is going to be like. Okay, still fits great. Now if I pull the back, boom, opens with no problem. 1.0.0.3, that's the one. Well, that ain't right. All right, we got a gold and a silver going. I would like to get a black because I sell almost every grip, like 70% in black, but I don't always advertise them in black. It's kind of harder to see the shape and less uh, vibrant. It's 5.01, I've been up for about half an hour. I don't love getting up at this time, but it's mercifully not two or three o'clock in the morning, so we're gonna get to work. Well, out of four prints, of course, that's gonna be the one that failed. 
Here we got a good one. Here we got a good one. Okay. One of these days I'm gonna get a good time lapse of something being made. Uh, finally, these are done. I got a gold one. I got a blue one. And I've got a black one. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna send one to Gary's friends. I'm gonna take a picture on white for the website and list it as a digital download and a product.